Nickelodeon, what happened to you? Seriously, what has happened to you? The once proud empire of children's entertainment and television has fallen. Badly. We used to be the best of friends. We used to enjoy Saturday nights, weekday mornings, and afternoons. You used to be my wonderful childhood blissfully. You were the go-to for my childhood and entertainment, especially whenever I came over to my aunt's house on the weekends or whenever I had vacation time during those times in elementary school. But now you are a bland misfit of a channel. You're a screwball at best. Back then you were the go-to channel as I was in my early childhood. You had everything a kid could ask for and then some. But now, I don't even recognize you anymore. You were the go-to channel. You began life as a test broadcast in 1997. Pinwheel, which was one of the main programs you showed back then. Then you branched out and had more content. You had more shows, entertainment on your block, and you even changed later to the now-known Nickelodeon. You used to have everything. You had Looney Tunes, early anime for kids like Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics, Noozles to name a few. You had Muppet Babies, Funny In Between Bumpers. You had game shows like Double Dare, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Finders Keepers, Nick Arcade. You had programming at night even for adults called Nick at Night where you showed old school black and white TV shows, and even though I was a kid back then, I found enjoyment out of it. Seriously. Until I guess they moved to TV land, but even then, that's also a former show of itself. But anyway, <clears throat> you even had programming on weekends like Nick News with Linda Ellaby. Anyone remember that? And one of the other shows I remember from my childhood was... You can't do that on television, which gave us the iconic, iconic slime. And also programs like Welcome Freshman and Roundhouse. I wanted to be drenched in the green slime of all things, and that was a highlight of my childhood. And most of all, you gave us classic TV shows. On occasion, you gave us shows like Lassie. Looney Tunes on Nickelodeon, which was a staple. David the Gnome. Danger Mouse. Most Wanted, Yogi Bear. The Adventures of Tin Tin. And even Nick at Night shows like Bewitched, Mr. Ed, I Dream a Genie, Flipper, and more. But now, Nick at Night is pretty much dead. And all I see is friends. That's all you show. Friends. What happened to you, Nick? Seriously. What happened to you back then? You were the GOAT back then. And now you're a lousy meme-filled channel. You don't even run game shows anymore. Like Guts and Legends of the Hidden Temple. Figure it out. Nick Arcade, Double Dare, Finders Keepers. What happened to the game shows? You used to have game shows and now you don't have anything. I just don't understand how a network that was so golden has fallen so far. And the live action shows you also used to broadcast like, Hey dude, are you afraid of the dark? Ship to shore? Anyone remember that? The Journey of Alan Strange? Animorphs, based on the Scholactic's book. <sighs> 100 Deeds for Eddie McDowd, where the guy got turned into a dog and he had to do 100 Deeds just to get back turned into a regular guy. Clarissa explains it all. Welcome freshmen. Roundhouse. Although that was part of Saturday Night Nick. Nick. Snick. I remember... 
and they were good. They were golden back then. You were situated in Universal Studios in Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. They had so much lasting appeal. The shows, that is. Longevity. But now, the only thing I see whenever I do flip on Nickelodeon is repeat A to B to C movies. And half of the time, I always see SpongeBob SquarePants or that ridiculous spinoff show, The Patrick Star Show. Can this series die already? Because I don't want to hear another meme, joke, laugh, or drab moment from it. Seriously. The fact that they're still going and I look at it and I don't find it funny is just a sh testament. A testament to how Nickelodeon has also fallen. But there's more to it than just the programming and shows and everything, ladies and gentlemen. I used to watch Nickelodeon religiously, but now I can't even stomach it. And even Nick Jr. of all things. Nick Jr. has lost its appeal. They used to have great educational shows that touched upon many things growing up. But now, half the time... All they really see is Peppa Pig, Bubble Guppies, which ended not too long ago, uh, Paw Patrol, Rubble and Crew, and it just saddens me. Blues Clues, uh, Blues Clues and You, and Ni Hao Kai Land, whatever happened to that? Ni Hao Kai Lan, which showed the cute Chinese girl and her friends, and Gullah Gullah Island for that matter? What happened to you? What happened? I used to watch Nickelodeon religiously, but like I said, I can't even stomach it. And Cartoon Network is also guilty of this travesty. Don't think that they aren't, because they also have some skeletons in their closet. And with how their programming blocks are, I can't even believe they're still going, because they are running their good name into the ground. But maybe one day I'll get back to that. They'll have their day in the sun with me. The only nightness of Nickelodeon was the golden years. Even... Though they were still getting their footings down, but they gave us great cartoons, shows, game shows, and even nighttime programs. I don't even know what this channel uh, anal is anymore. Nowadays, like Cartoon Network, uh, I just... What this channel is... What is this channel? It's like Cartoon Network running Teen Titans Go. Remember that rant where I, where I talked about Teen Titans Go? And another thing I want to point out is Nickelodeon rerunning movies over and over and over and over again. I don't mind watching the Sonic movie or something else every occasion, but this is just sad. I have the Sonic movie on DVD, and I've seen Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 1 and 2 so much. The Smurfs, Despicable Me 1 and 2, or 3, and so many others so much that I'm bored. I am bored out of my wits. They also had other channels on their programming block, such as Nicktoons TV, which showcased all the old Nicktoons. They had Nick Gas Game and Sports where they showcased all the old game shows, and they also did uh, games and sports, which was a good thing, because it showed the variety, basketball, football, and other little things. And Teen Nick, which showcased some of the uh, teen drama shows and whatnot, like Zoe 101, Drake and Josh, and other shows. But now, those channels are former shows of themselves. In fact, half the time whenever I see Teen Nick, all I see is Danger Force, Henry Danger, and Nick Tunes TV has been taken over by Spongebob or just anything mediocre in return. 
and some shows on Nickelodeon, they didn't even let last for one or two seasons. They got moved on to Nicktoons TV where they died a horrible death, just like Boomerang. Seriously. Nickelodeon is a former show of itself, and that also falls into what they usually show now. They aren't appealing to the general public anymore, and I find that sad. Nowadays, all Nickelodeon does show is SpongeBob SquarePants, the spin-off, The Patrick Star Show, and come to think of it, the creator never wanted to do a spin-off and everything like that, but Nickelodeon still try and tries to, uh... It still tries to showcase Spongebob like it's the new hotness, and I'm sorry, I am truly sorry, but now Spongebob is not funny, entertaining, or good anymore. I'm sorry, but no, no, no. I don't even recognize the first Kids Network anymore. In fact, is it even the first Kids Network anymore? Nowadays, they also show The Loud House and uh, The Even Louder House. What's to love here? They would still show some of the shows like Drake and Josh and The Amanda Show occasionally, but they don't do that anymore. In fact, I think they've been canceled. The Haunted Hathaway is about the ghost family and the family living in the house together. Just, ah! I am sick of how Nickelodeon does its IPs now. And even then, the Green Slime and for, uh, Kids Choice Awards are the only redeeming qualities of Nickelodeon, but even then, that's not fun to watch anymore. Besides SpongeBob winning the Favorite Cartoon Award for the 15th time in a row. And the only other thing they have is the Green Slime and the Orange Blips. I want to puke. I want to throw my TV out of the door. The variety is gone. Nickelodeon used to have variety. But now that is gone. There are way better cartoons out there than the yellow sponge. And if the creator was still alive, I think he'd be disappointed in how the series is being milked. Rest in peace, Steven Hillenburg. There are no other cartoons that they show anymore, and that's sad. Fairly Odd Parents was funny for a while, but then the last three seasons were terrible to abysmal, and I hated it. I hated what Fairly Odd Parents had become, especially because of Butch Hartman, the creator. When they added Sparky and Chloe to the mix, the show derailed heavily. The whole show became impossible to watch. The jokes were not funny, the writing was bad, and the whole The Rules thing was falling apart on itself. It was just inconsistent. And I bet Mr. Enter can tell you how bad it got. And the fact that they did away with many of the show's characters in Fairly Odd Parents was just bad in general. And what happened to Cosmo? Seriously, Cosmo was idiotic at times, but even he had good ideas. But then afterwards, in the last few seasons, Cosmo went from idiotic to okay to just plain idiotic. And wanted just, ah, I can't even bear to look at it anymore. I can watch the old episodes of Fairly Odd Parents, but not any of the newer seasons. And the last few seasons and episodes in it, not with the bang but with a whimper in old school flash animation. What the hell? Oh, and uh, another thing I want to point out is I watched the documentary Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, and I was shocked and horrified and disappointed by the channel I grew up watching. Shows like All That, Keenan and Kel, iCarly, Victorious and whatnot. It just became... Ridiculous. I am sorry to all those actors who gave us a childhood and gave up their childhood so we could have our uh, our own. But the stuff that I heard about with Dan Schneider and behind the scenes and everything was just disgusting, distasteful, horrible, and disappointing in general. What the hell, Nickelodeon? What the the hell! 
I watched the documentary Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, about the allegations, the end of windows, and crap that went on behind the scenes of our favorite shows, like the new season of All That, Zoe 101, iCarly, Drake and Josh, Victorious for that matter, and it's just... What the ass? All the crap that I grew up watching was a tainted and ridiculous, ridiculous disappointment of a mess. The crap that went out behind the scenes, the abuse, the sexual predation, the end windows, the gender discrimination and stuff like that. It just, it just, <sighs> and all this because of the creator of these shows, Dan Schneider. He turned it into a toxic workplace of deceit, profanity, gender discrimination, pedophilia, and distasteful choices. And I'm just like, <sighs> what the hell? What the fuck? What the ass? When the new cast of All That back then did all those various skits and comedy sketches, I often cringed while watching them. They weren't comforting or entertaining, and overall, they were just messed up. A lot of this stuff flew over my head and everything, but even then I didn't watch it because I was more concentrated on Toonami and Cartoon Network and Japanimation and stuff like that. Oh, and another thing, don't get me started on Snicks on Air Dare, which was parroting uh, Fear Factor, where they had some of the Nick stars doing a portrayal of Fear Factor, Whoever they chose to do a dare would have to do something ridiculous, demeaning, or disgusting. And they weren't funny. I don't know who they were funny for, but they were not funny. Take for example, one on-air dare was Brian Hearn was covered in peanut butter and was licked by dogs. I think even I can agree with him on that. I don't like it. I did not like it. I did not find it funny. I did not find that remotely funny in any way, shape, or form. And I'm just... Uh, disgusted by it. Oh, and some of the on-air stuff, including the sketches with all that and everything like that. There were pedophiles on the show, child groomers and stuff like that, and even more so just... Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm glad the actors came forward with their stories in the documentary about the people who used to produce their shows, including Dan Schneider, and how he was turning the whole production into a toxic workplace. If you haven't seen the documentary, I suggest you do watch it, ladies and gentlemen. But, I warn you, if you do, your childhoods are going to be tainted. By the whole thing about them coming out of the closet. Oh, and to add insult to injury, I heard about this not too long ago. Amber Frank, who used to work on Nickelodeon's The Haunted Hathaways about the uh, ghost family who lived with another family in a haunted house and stuff like that. She came forward about when Nickelodeon sent computers to the production cast, uh, the production crew, for the show. And guess what? You're not going to like it, but... When the computers returned to production and everything, there was child pornography all over it and nobody was held accountable or even found out who was in the company that did that. My question is, what the ever-loving ass...
the once proud Empire of Children's TV has fallen. And now, I don't even know what to think about it anymore. I'm just like... Nickelodeon, I am disappointed in you. You used to be good. You used to be charming. You used to be beautiful. You used to be so entertaining, but now I don't even recognize you anymore, and it's sad. And now you're full of deceit, lies, slander, and even more so, dark whispers. The Nickelodeon I grew up watching is gone and replaced with this, with this ridiculous piece of media that Viacom now owns. I think when they, uh... Later, uh, Viacom, I guess, bought them out and everything like that. That's when it really started to go down here, but maybe even more so. As a kid, or even us as kids, some parts were funny and ridiculous, but this here is just low and a former shadow of what the network used to be. It used to be a juggernaut of children's television, but now I would not be caught dead looking at it or even touching this channel for all I care with a 10-foot stick. As far as I'm concerned, Nickelodeon can rot for a like hair, and that's coming straight from the horse's mouth. Nowadays, I think SpongeBob is the only other thing that they show on the network, or the Patrick Star Show, or even for that matter, the Loud House, and that's all they really have going for them. Nick and Knight doesn't uh, exist anymore. Or even Teen Nick with uh, them uh, doing all the Henry Danger or Danger Force stuff. I did not find that show funny at all, way, shape, or form. I just found it boring and ridiculous. I'm sorry, but... Nickelodeon can rot for all I care. I don't even want to look at the network anymore. Or even for that matter, Nick Jr. It used to be so good, but... Mm -mm. Nope. And... If this is the direction Nickelodeon wants to go in production for their shows and everything like that, especially because they cut ties with Dan Schneider and everything, I don't want any part of it. I don't want any part of it. I'm done. Nickelodeon is dead. The end.